Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. Today we're doing a book haul and I literally filmed one the other day, said I was going to stop buying books and then proceeded to buy them even though I actually have been gifted a lot and I've won a lot of books recently so I feel like that's a loophole. That's what we're going to be doing today. I actually don't know how many I've got. So I've got nine in there, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. <laughs> And there are more on the way. <laughs> um, but 17 new books. And that's totally fine considering when I did my physical TBR video I had 170 that I haven't read. But we digress. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through like each book as it comes up. Because again, like I said, I've been gifted some, I've won some, like those sorts of things. I've bought some myself. Um, but yeah, first of all... I'm going to start with this big box here. I actually won a giveaway from Boldwood Books um, where they were gifting a like all the books that were in a book bouquet for Valentine's Day. Um, so I actually won that giveaway and I won nine books. <laughs> so let's go through those. So the first one is called Not in a Billion Years. Now most of these books I don't know what they're about but I believe they're all or if not most romances um so yeah this one is by camilla i think you say that Isley and Ilsley. i'm really sorry if i'm mispronouncing your name um but i'll just read the blurb for you so you know what it's about as well as me um <laughs> blake avery knows all about hard work she's gone from making videos in her teenage bedroom to founding a booming fitness business and opening a state-of-the-art manhattan gym now she's on the cusp of realising her wildest dreams and she's not going to let anyone stand in her way. Certainly not a man of the hour, Gabriel Mercer. I think that's how you say his name. He might be one of the biggest names in the fitness world and set women's pulses soaring more than a gruelling hit workout. But he grew up in a billionaire dynasty or dynasty. I, I never know how to say that word. Had everything handed to him, also Blake thinks. But when Blake publicly criticises Gabriel, she sparks a feud that neither entrepreneur is willing to back down from. And in an industry that seems determined to keep pushing them together, can Blake hold on to her grudge or will she finally warm up to Gabriel's charm? So that sounds quite interesting. It's kind of like a billionaire fitnessy feud romance um then we have can't take my eyes off you by amy brown um all of these feel like the indie style printed ones they're all like floppy books which we love berkeley came as lucky enough to meet her perfect man at a young age blissfully in love she's about to graduate college take on her dream job and has never been more optimistic for the future will adler has been in love with berkeley kane since the moment he laid eyes on her but ever since they became a couple will and berkeley have had to contend with his socialite family who have never thought berkeley is good enough determined to drive the young lovers apart will's family reveal the secret he's yet to tell her he signed on to be part of a reality tv show called pdx royals as apparently money is all it takes to be royalty in america can the couple survive the pressure of will's crazy family and a tv show they never expected to blow up the way it did interesting that's kind of like a bit different to what i've read before in terms of like that they're already together and then they have issues but okay we'll see where that goes i don't know if they're gonna break up and then they have like another romance i'm not sure then we have the law of attraction by laura carter that's such a cute cover Drew Harrington knows exactly who he is, a legal shark with a love him and leave him attitude, which works just fine in his cutthroat world. He's on the cusp of being named a partner in his firm, but only if he can prove to his colleagues that he has more he has a more human side. Becky Fletcher is running from her past, so the last thing she's looking for is love. What she does want is a friendly face in a cold city. Her sunny outlook is the perfect opposite to Drew's hard exterior, but can she afford to let her guard down? This one sounds right up my street, to be honest. Like a um almost like i don't know if it's like a fake dating type thing but it sounds like it might be and the whole grumpy sunshine thing sounds right up my street and i love when it's set in a big city then we have match me if you can by sandy barker welcome to the ever after agency a clander clandestine 
I have never ever seen that word in my life. Uh, organisation offering bespoke solutions to romantic problems. Whether you're looking for the love of your life, a fresh romantic start, or just want to keep up appearances, the agency can tailor a solution to meet your needs. When Tristan Fellows walks into the agency, Poppy Dean knows she's in for a challenge. A typical bachelor, Tristan has no intention of falling in love, but in order to receive his £30 million inheritance, he must find himself a wife before his 35th birthday. This may be Poppy's hardest case yet, but even the most arrogant of men can sometimes warm a woman's heart. This sounds right up my street. There's just the whole grumpy male main character just is right up my street for me. Um, then we have Just Do It by Maxine Maury. I think I've actually heard of this author before. Lizzie Rose knows what she likes and likes what she knows. Her job at the London Museum is her safe place and her passion. So when Lizzie is passed over for a once in a lifetime opportunity in favour of her ex-boyfriend, oh my gosh, Fred Friedrich? maybe Klein. Uh, her heartbreak over their relationship is nothing compared to her sadness at losing the project. Best friend Colette thinks an evening out is just the medicine for a broken heart and meeting charming but very much not her type Finn Bryson puts a smile on Lizzie's face too. But Lizzie isn't used to spending time outside her world of academia and doesn't believe in mixing business with pleasure. So when Finn's job brings him to the mu museum she's determined to put an end to any notion of romance between them. But is it time for Lizzie to take the chance on love that fate keeps bringing her way even if it means changing the habits of a lifetime again that sounds quite cute the whole not her type but you know that sounds cute some of these sound really good um then we have mr right next door by rachel dove now i have actually seen this book over on tiktok um so this says a heartwarming romance so on her oh my gosh <laughs> On her deathbed, Rory Gallant's mother begs him to be a good man and not to behave like his caddish father, Doug. Now all grown up, Rory is a good man, but love seems to elude him. Maybe he does need to be a bit more of a cad after all. Deciding to follow the cad dating rules with a bit of help from... I do not know how you say that. Lothario Dad Doug. Yeah, Lothario Dad Doug. Rory decides to become the complete opposite of the man he really is. Rory's best friend and neighbour Sarah doesn't understand why Rory thinks he needs to change. He's perfect just the way he is. She's determined to show him that maybe the love he's looking for is standing right under his nose. Maybe even right next door. That's quite cute. I feel like it's going to be a friends to lovers type romance. And it's quite short. So, um, Then we have The Love Interest by Victoria Walters. Which I have actually read before as I was gifted um, the arc of this from NetGalley and Boldwood Books. Um, so this one was actually quite interesting. It's brother's best friend type romance. Um, she is looking for a love interest to put in a, um, romance book that she's writing and turns out that when she starts writing it, it just seems that her brother's best friend is the right person, like fits the description that she's been writing in the book. Um, so yeah, it's quite an interesting read and they really hate each other from the beginning. So it's enemies to lovers and brother's best friend romance. Um, and it is set in London. So we have the city aspect as well. Um, and yeah, love it. Love some of the side characters as well. So I actually have read this one already and really loved it. Then we have enemies to lovers by Portia McIntosh. I think that's how you say her name. Um, this looks like such a summary read. So... Lara and Sony are sworn enemies, or Sunny, you might say it's Sunny actually, are sworn enemies. As rival showbiz journalists, they're always out to get one up on each other, whether being the first to the scoop, the latest celebrity gossip, or sabotaging a potential lead. So when their bosses ask them to join forces and go undercover at an exclusive celebrity retreat, they can't think of anything worse, except that they are going to need to pretend to be in couples therapy to blend in. Being on a tropical island for work would be most people's idea of heaven, but for Lara and Sunny, it's how. Can a week of sun, sea and, under and uncovering showbiz secrets together chip away at Lara and Sunny's rivalry? And once they get home and the fake relationship is over, could a real one be left in its place? That again just sounds right up my street. I love an enemy to lovers romance. And the last book that I actually won as part of that giveaway is Anyone But The Billionaire by Sarah L. Hudson. Self-made mogul Chase Moore is a charming hound dog with a hairless cat and a family business to save. He was fine being the spare to the heir until the billion dollar business threatened to go belly up. 
Now Chase will need more than his rackish good looks to fight his father for control. Powerhouse marketing guru Campbell King is a hard-headed woman. After being chewed up and spit out by the city that never sleeps, Campbell returned to Texas and launched her own company. When her phone rings and the sexy voice on the other end asks her to help save his swanky store in Manhattan, uh, she sees it as a chance to redeem herself. When the sexy redhead runs into her new billionaire boss, they're both in for a shock, but there's no way Campbell is dating the boss. In fact, anyone but the billionaire would be better. Again, sounds so good. I just love a billionaire romance. All of these books sound so good, so interesting. A bit of a range of tropes in there, um, but yeah. So thank you to Boldwood Books for all of these books that I won. I won nine of them in total, so that is crazy, but so so colorful look at that colorful stack of books um but yeah thank you so much and i will obviously be giving updates on these when i read them in vlogs and stuff or over on my tiktok or even um my instagram so if you ever want to like follow me on those because i post a lot more on there they're always linked in the description so go and join our little book community we've got a nice little community going on now um but thank you Bulba books for all of those now a random stack of books that are like <laughs> from different places um, so, I'm part of this, like, program or influencer type thing on Bookstagram um, for a company called Love Book Tours. I will link them in the description for those of you who are interested in going to check them out or whether you make book content and you kind of want to be a part of this too. Um, but basically, they you sign up to it and if you get approved, then part of the influencer program um and every day or every couple of days they'll send out some books that you can be part of the tour of obviously it's like a virtual tour you don't actually have to go anywhere um but sometimes they have physical copies of books and sometimes they have uh digital copies so it just depends on like the books that come out and you don't have to sign up to all of them you can sign up to whatever ones suit you and if you get approved then you either obviously get the um digital copy or a physical copy so that was leading me to tell you that I have a physical copy of a book for one of the book tours. This book just sounded quite interesting. So it's called Broken Shadows and it is by Sorrel Pitts. I think that's how you say that. And it's kind of like a mystery type um, book. So I'll read you the blurb because it sounded really interesting. Um, so in 1994, 11 year old Callum was abducted from his Wiltshire village. His body was found six months later by his older brother, Tom. Near a... Oh my good God. Ne Neolithic Henge, I think that's how you say that, um, called The Shadowing Stones. It was the first in a series of events that would destroy Tom's family. The boy's father was a suspect but never charged and their mother died by suicide a year later. Convinced his father was responsible for his brother's death, Tom fled to Australia to start a new life. Now almost three decades later, Tom learns that his father is dying of cancer. Knowing this may be his last chance to uncover the truth, Tom returns to England. But when childhood acquaintance Anna forms a bond with Tom, old feelings are stirred. As he is reluctantly drawn closer to both Anna and his father, Tom is confronted with a series of shocking twists and revelations that will change his life forever. So it sounds really, really interesting. It's kind of like a murder mystery type thing, but it's his younger brother. I think it's his younger brother. Yeah, his younger brother that passed away or was murdered or something. Um, and obviously his father was a suspect. So it sounds really, really interesting. And I'm really excited to be part of this book tour. So basically for the book tours, you read the book and post your review and stuff um, onto Amazon or Goodreads um, and your Instagram or whatever platform you create content for. So yeah, I'm going to be reading this. I think the book tour is in June. So I have until June to like read it and post about it but anyway that is the book that i was gifted for the book tour um i do have another one coming as well but it hasn't arrived yet um so yeah exciting and i'll probably be including this in the vlog closer to the time or over the next couple of months um i'm gonna get around to reading this i then actually won another giveaway for someone um lizzie she got 5k followers on her bookstagram and did a giveaway and i was actually one of the winners so thank you so much lizzie um and she sent me two books off my amazon wish list so i'm so excited about that <laughs> and those books are mixed signals by bk borison and bride by ali hazelwood mixed signals is part of the 
I don't actually know what this series is called. Is it called the Love Light series? If you know, can you comment it down below? Because I don't know what the series is called, but it's the one that's got Love Light Farms in. Um, so this one is actually the third book in the series. Um, I've read the first one, Love Light Farms, really liked it. I gave it five stars actually at the start of this year. Um, and this one follows Layla and Kayla. Layla is the baker on the farm and friends with the main, female main character in the first book, Love Light Farms. Um, and Caleb is a police officer, or I believe he was a police officer in the first book. I think he's had a career change. I don't know whether it happens in this book or in the one before this, um, but I believe he's had a career change or something. Um, and I think this is like a fake dating type trope. Um, but yeah, it's like a short book. They're so cute. I just really loved the writing in the first one. So very excited to read this one. And then Bride by Ali Hazelwood is her fantasy debut book. Um, I believe this is like a arranged marriage between a werewolf and a vampire. I don't know much about it, but I've heard mixed reviews online. I've just stepped into my fantasy era by starting reading Akhtar. So I thought I'm going to try some more fantasy books. Um, so obviously Lizzie had sent me this one, um, but I'm very excited about it. So I absolutely love Ali Hazelwood's writing, loved her um, YA debut um, Checker Mate, which was out at the start of this year or the end of last year, but loved that, loved all of her other books, loved Theoretically. I just loved that book so much last year. Um, so yeah, that is kind of like a fantasy just type book. I don't, like I said, I don't know too, too much about this. I believe the arranged marriage is done to keep the peace between the werewolves and the vampires. I don't know, um, but I will give you updates on this. I'm planning on doing a reading fantasy for a week reading vlog. So let me know if you want to see that and whether you want me to include this book. Thanks so much, Lizzie, for those. Then I was also gifted another book by Sophie. So thank you so much, Sophie. This was sent to me as part of Fairy Friday over on Bookstagram. If you don't know what that is, basically people put a post up saying like Fairy Friday and you can comment on there if you want a specific book off your wish list or if you would like a surprise and then other people might gift you a book or something. So yeah, it's not always guaranteed you're going to get a book, but if you do, then it's a very nice surprise. So thank you so much to Sophie um, for gifting me this. So this is The House Made by Freedom at Fadden. I have just bought so many books from Freedom at Fadden because I just want to start my Freedom at Fadden era. I'm very excited about it. Um, and loads of people have said such good things about this book. Um, Sophie actually put on the gift receipt that it's a page turner and she loved it. So I'm going to give this a read super soon. I am actually doing a reading mysteries and thrillers for a week reading vlog uh, in a couple of weeks so I might include this one in it it's definitely going to be a freedom at Fadden book in there <laughs> um but yeah so excited about this thank you so much to Sophie for gifting me this and I'll get to this very very soon I then have a couple of books that I bought myself um from the works I ordered a couple online and then I went there today as well and picked up a couple more um so the first book that we have is The Inmate also by Freedom at Fadden like I said I'm being in my Freedom McFadden era because I've heard she is the queen of thrillers. So I'm very excited. I love a good thriller. This one sounded quite interesting. So there is essentially a nurse practitioner who is at a maximum security prison. She's told to like treat the prisoners with respect. Don't reveal personal things about yourself or personal information. And um don't get like friendly with the inmates but one of the inmates is actually her childhood sweetheart who was arrested for some really gruesome murders I think um and her testimony was what got him arrested so or at least like sentenced or whatever so that sounds really interesting I kind of want to know what's going on that's what I got from like the back of the book so I'm very excited about this now. <laughs> then have A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Mass, which is part of the A Court of Thorn and Roses series. Now I do have books one, two and three sitting on my shelf. So this is book number four in that series. Um, I'm not gonna read the blurb and tell you what it's about because I don't want to know because I am reading the second one at the moment. So I don't wanna read the back because there's probably gonna be spoilers for the other book. So I don't wanna know. Um, but this is essentially the fourth one in the series um, and like I said I'm doing like a reading fantasy for a week soon so we'll see where I get to 
in the series but I'll probably be reading one of those books in that week um but yeah very excited for this one I didn't think I'd enjoy the series I wasn't a fantasy girly but I am enjoying it um very confused with book number two at the moment but I'm getting there then I got fourth wing by Rebecca Yaros is that how you say her name um this is also a fantasy book and it's just come out in a paperback so it's actually book of the week at the moment at the works I think it was in there for like five pound this is chunky I didn't realize how chunky this book was I'm gonna pick that up because it's finally in a paperback and this cover is gorgeous how cover is how cute is that um but yeah so I think it's kind of like a I know it's got dragons in <laughs> it is a fantasy I think it's kind of like a um school or college or something to do with dragons um I have no idea <laughs> so I can't really give you a gist of this book I know there's dragons I know it's a fantasy I think there's a college where you may learn about the dragons or something i believe there's a romance in here or at least a bit of one a subplot i don't know <laughs> but i've heard mixed reviews and i wanted to read it for myself and like i said i'm being in my fantasy era and then the last book i have to share with you is from a queen of small town and cowboy romances and that is elsie silver's new book wild love this cover is stunning um, so they actually have this in the works for I think it's five pounds so go and grab your hands on one of these I didn't know what this was about I knew that it was sort of connected to Chestnut Springs but not entirely I don't know if there's like a sibling in here from like one of the other books I don't know um, but I do know from reading the back of this that it is a best friend's sister's romance hello that sounds amazing um i don't know if it's a cowboy romance because i don't think our male main character is a cowboy i think he's a billionaire but it is small town so we love and i'm very excited um, but those are actually all the books for our book haul today i need to stop buying books i do have two more coming at the end of the month um the naturals the rest of the natural series so books three and four but I think because they're being reprinted I can't have them yet or something so they're come in at the end of the month um and I've kind of like sort of pre-ordered them or something um so yeah those are coming as well but those are actually all the books for today's video so I hope you enjoyed our I was gonna say a little book haul but it's like nearly 20 books <laughs> so yeah I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in another one super super soon bye